In my last video, I compared our eyes to machine's eyes, aka computer vision. And today I want to compare our human language capability versus machines. So we all got frustrated sometimes when we talk with Siri with Alexa, right? But why exactly? So I hope after today's video, you will understand the five reasons behind why we got frustrated when we communicate with the machine, with our human language, and why exactly machine in terms of language capability has a very long way to go. So in order for machine to communicate with human, at least the machine has to be able to transform the voice-based information into a text-based information, which we call that voice recognition. And today, in the perfect situation, machines can do that very, very well, but our world is not perfect. Like this. <laughs> so what you feel right now is exactly how machine feels most of the time when they communicate with humans. Because the world is not perfect. We have mispronunciation, we have accent, we have noise in the background. All those factors make the voice recognition much more challenging. So in order for a machine to do that, machine has to build a knowledge base for each individual to understand, to learn the accent, the mispronunciation, or specific pronunciation, and the habit, the tone about each individual. In that way, the machine can understand, do the voice recognition better. So they can do this. Oh my god! He's trapped in an ATM vestibule with chill good anchors! <laughs> so that is the number one reason why we feel frustrated, because the voice recognition is not as good as human. When I first came to the US, I felt like, oh my god, I know every single word in that conversation, but I still don't know what you guys are talking about. And a lot of time I just don't get those jokes. I feel like this. You accidentally proposed to Rachel. But can I just stop you right there for a second? When people do this, I don't really know what that means. <laughs> that is because a lot of people in the group, they have some common knowledge they share. And in order to communicate with that group well enough, you need to know those common knowledge. Those can be like a cultural context, can be slangs, can be gestures, can be some inside jokes. So those common knowledge is like the code book between two military communication channels. Without that code book, if you have all the words right in front of you, you cannot decode it, you cannot decrypt it, right? So it still does not make sense to you. That knowledge base is not built in into the machine today. It's like they are communicating with human without that code book. So sometimes we expect them to understand some uh, common knowledge that's very, very common for human, but they don't have it. That expectation was not met when we communicate. That's why we feel frustrated. You feel that sometimes the more people talk, the more confused we got. And sometimes if people just keep telling us something we already know, we got frustrated like this. Thank you for calling Dental House. If there's a medical emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Your call is very important to us. Our office hour is from 9. This machine has been talking for 12 seconds without giving me any information I need. I just want to know how can I talk to a person and schedule my appointment. The information that we don't need in order to communicate is called redundant information. And our brain, because it's very good at conserving energy, when our brain detects those redundant information, it starts to shut down. It starts to processing the information from that source. That's how we lost interest, that's how we lost focus. And if people keep talking like that, keep dumping those redundant information to our brain, we got frustrated. And our um, machine today do not have the knowledge base about each individual, like I said before. So they don't know what we know, what we don't know, so they have to dump everything into our brain. Some of them are very, very redundant. That's how we got frustrated. On the other hand, have you felt that sometimes people dive into their topic too soon without giving you any contacts and you just lost from the beginning? You and Monica, friends for a long time. And sure, there are rules. But then you went to London. Well, no, but that's different. I mean, there are rules there too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do you? You don't understand what Joey means, right? None of us did. So 
That is because a lot of context was required before we can understand what Joey was talking about. And not everyone has the context as we speak. So sometimes we need to slow down and give the context, provide information that we need in order to understand the topic first before we dive into it. That's why we find it's very easy to talk with friends, family, because they know us better, right? A lot of topics, common topics, we have the context with each other. But as I said before, machine does not have the knowledge base can remember the context throughout our conversation. Uh, if you tell Siri, hey, uh, Siri, Lakers is my favorite team. And then right after that, you ask Siri, hey, how is my favorite team doing? Siri won't be able to remember that. So when we talk to machine today, it's like talk to a person who forgets everything about you every five seconds. So that's very frustrating. Last but not least, before we speak something out loud, usually we ask ourselves something like, how will other people react to it? How will that impact our relationship? How will that impact the conversation itself, right? We consider those before we say something out loud. When we don't, but it's the Knicks! Go the Knicks! Whoa! <laughs> I didn't mean that. Chandler knows how important Knicks is to Joey and to himself. So the moment he says, screw the Knicks, he knows something's wrong. This task is even very, very difficult for us, for human to do it. So we can understand why sometimes the machine have no idea how to do it because it's a very, very advanced intelligence. But when we talk to a machine, we expect the machine to know that. So when machine says something very offensive to us, to the situation, to, uh, to the environment, to the conversation itself, we got frustrated. Now let's take the conversation into a deeper level. Like why do we human need language in the first place? The answer is collaboration. But you may ask, anim many other animals can collaborate in a group to achieve some task. What differentiate human beings? So there is a very interesting experiment that was run in the zoo that a uh, chimpanzee's mom is looking for the missing baby. While other chimpanzees was just hanging out around her and sunbathing, chill out, they knew where that baby went, but they did not tell the mom. The reason behind that behavior is many animals have the capability to communicate with each other, but they don't have the motivation, which is the most important thing here. But we human does, right? It's because that motivation, we human can be more proactive and to participate in some very complex task and to achieve much bigger task in, as a community. So if we want a machine to be able to communicate with us as a human, we need to figure out a way to build that motivation into machines so they can interact and communicate with humans in a more motivated and proactive way. Now you know why sometimes people get frustrated when they talk to AI, talk to machines. It's because the machines cannot recognize our voice as well as human, and sometimes they don't have the common knowledge base to understand each other. And machine does not know us, so they don't know what information need to be provided, what information can be eliminated when they talk to us. So sometimes we got, why you tell me this? Why you don't tell me this? Right? And last but not least, they don't consider the reaction and impact to the relationship they are interacting to the conversation itself. And finally, above all, machines today simply do not have the motivation to proactively communicate with humans. So with all everything above, you know why machine today has a very long way to go before they can communicate with us just as well as we do. If you enjoy the content, please like the video and comment down below. Let me know what other reasons you got frustrated when you talk to Siri, Alexa, Google Assistant. And finally, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.